Ah. So finally today is day 10 of no food. I've done it. Can't believe I've done it. Ah, later on, you know, I'll I'll be making a video to summarize how I felt each day and um, you know some tips, do's and don'ts. Because many people have kind of asked me, you know, how did you do it? What do you recommend? What do you suggest? You know, I've always failed. So I thought, okay, I'll make a separate video with bullet points so it'll be easy for you guys who want to try it out and yeah the do's and don'ts and whatever comes with it but for now i'll share with you my thoughts on day 10. today being day 10 well uh, this is the part that'll surprise you i'm not actually feeling hungry I'm not hungry. Even now, I'm not feeling hungry. I'm not feeling like eating. But yeah, I do feel weak. Like uh, if I were to go anywhere or do anything or walk around or carry something, even talking, it exhausts me, you know. I feel very tired. And especially the mouth gets dry, man. I can say I'm actually carrying a bottle of water which I have never done while going for my walks because uh, I'll feel very thirsty very fast. My whole uh, mouth and throat and I'll just feel very, very dry. Even when I sleep, I literally have to like uh, get up to drink water that dry. And uh, it is not possible for me to talk uh, say 10 minutes without uh, wanting another sip of water. Like, you remember, for those of you who follow my channel long, I have even spoken non-stop for 11 hours while creating a video, 11 hours, which was edited to six hours or something. That time I didn't feel as thirsty as I feel now, so Obviously, this can be a bodily function thing. By the way, I spoke to my doctor who had helped me get the bariatric surgery in uh, Kerala. So, his name is Dr. Tom Babu. He's the CEO of Silverline Hospital. He told me your hemoglobin is down, so you'll have to check why the iron is less. And I did tell him when I pass stool, there's a lot of blood. So he said uh, that can be because uh, iron is not being absorbed or because, uh, you know, uh, it can be maybe something internal. So he recommended for me to get intravenous uh, iron. He said then check if the iron in your body is okay because I am taking tablets for anemia, that is, you know, less of red blood cells. So apart from that, uh, okay, I'm not feeling hungry and, uh, uh, but I do feel weak. The other thing is I purchased so much food, so much. My entire fridge, there is not even place for storing a bar of Snickers. It is that much, it is packed with food. Because I bought and stored all the most delicious things I'd like to eat. So even though it is all full, I'm still not thinking about food. I purchased chips and crisps and chocolates and everything my heart desires. But funny, it's... Uh, I'm not like desperate for, oh, I'm going to break the fast and I'll eat, can't wait to eat. Like when you're fasting in Ramadan, you're just waiting for iftar to break the fast. I'm actually not dying to break the fast. Uh, but anyway, I need to plan it out. I have the, I already purchased the soup 
and I kept it the broth bone broth so that is kept ready but it's in the fridge I need to heat it I'll make a video when I'm breaking my fast then uh, apart from that uh, uh, my body is shrunk badly huh? See? my body has shrunk really I mean, it's kind of crazy you can see <laughs> ah, and uh, one thing is almost everyone who is uh, meeting me is telling me oh you look really thin your face looks really sucked out and dry so I tell them I'm fasting and when I tell them 10 days they go oh, yeah. So yeah, um, I can definitely tell you one thing. If I were to continue this, uh, I will. It will not look good. I will look uh, too drawn out. I will look like I'm suffering or dying or there's something like like a dying patient. You know. So it has reached the point where I think I need to. Okay, enough. Others, I think I look anorexic. You know, people have this. Uh, see, my mouth is dry. I'm feeling dry already. So, uh, just give me a second. I'll just drink a sip of water. Mouth is dry and uh, it becomes very hard. Here. One sec. Hmm. Ah. Oh, very hard to talk. But yeah. So, and by the way, I'm uh, now able to sleep properly. Uh, all I do is I just, I avoid trying to sleep in between. I only sleep when I'm tired. And, uh, and then at least, you know, I'm guaranteed to get sleep others I'm tossing and turning but one strange thing is uh, which I didn't expect is I'm uh, sleeping at around 4 or 5 or even 6 in the morning so I'm awake the whole night that also without coffee so I found that a bit surprising I don't know why uh, I can't sleep earlier ah uh, even now, when I'm walking, feeling tired, my thigh muscle is aching a bit. This one, my uh, left leg, slightly aching. And uh, so, yeah. Oh, when I have bath and I, you know, move my hand to wash my back, it's like it's easily going more further <laughs> than before because there is no mass. And uh, I know also noticed the skin on my bicep tricep region, the underarms, has become loose because I've lost a lot of uh, mass over there. So a little bit of hanging skin. But my stomach feels flat. And you know, when I move my hand on my body, I can feel the bones. See, I can feel the bones here. You can feel the bones here. See, especially this. So, I will be taking photos and videos tomorrow of my physique. So, stay tuned for that. Ah, so, 10 days. Today was, that was my target. I've achieved my target. So, good for me. Anyway, uh, let's... Let's wait for the video where I have my soup and I break my fast and then life goes back to normal. <sighs> anyway, that is what I wanted to share. You guys take care. It's me signing off. And any questions you have, just let me know down below. Hey doggy.
Guys, take care. This means signing off. Ciao. Bye.